Hello everyone and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Tyler Bradway and this is Creativid Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a motion capture as I did as one of my first like popular videos but this time I'm going to go into more detail so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So first things first, um, take some footage of your face and make it into a new composition. Yeah, that looks good. You're going to want to make an ellipse mask around your face. Switch this to none. And select the mask and go to tracker and go to method face tracking detailed features. Now, this is going to be what tracks all your facial movements, obviously. So track forward. That face, though. Oh, my God. Okay, now that we have that, we can plop on the face that we wish to make move. So this face is just this ugly face that I melted with a hair dryer. I made this face out of wax. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut it off and see where I want it to start. Probably where my face first. I like that weird face at the end where my mouth opens. So I'll just I'll just start it from here. So take these, move them over, go to the N, hit N on your keyboard and that'll bring this thing over and hit trim. Okay, so we're going to want to position this on top of our own face. So we want to be able to see the face underneath. So we're going to lower the opacity a little bit or a lot. and. It's good to start on a neutral looking face, not like a face that looks like this. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'll just use it. And I'll just squash it down a little bit. Okay. Wow, that looks freaking ugly. Now we take this layer and we pre-compose it. We move all the attributes and we call it Oh my god, select. Uh, face melt. Okay, so the reason why we pre-compose it is so that it's the same height and width as the original footage so that we can use the puppet pin tool to make the face move. So we're going to go inside the composition though and we're just going to mat. whoops, we're going to mask the eyes make them subtract ah! hit F on the keyboard to bring up feather select the bottom three masks and feather them out nice okay now we can delete this top mask so we have this ugly thing, and we go back into the face, and <laughs> looking better already. Now we need to put the pins in the right place. So if you look down at the effects, we have left eye, right eye, nose, mouth, cheeks, cheeks and chin. And if we open them up, it has all the tracking points for each like category. So we're going to use this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all these, all these, and all these. So, and we have to do it in the order that they're labeled. So just follow the order that I do it because it's going to be the same order as on yours. So first, make sure your expansion is up quite a bit so that um, you can make puppet pins in the alpha channel. 
Now you're going to want to put the puppet pins where you want them to be on the mask, not on your actual face. Left eye inner, it's actually on this side, even though this is the right. This is the left side of my face, so we do left eye inner, left eye middle, left eye outer, right eye inner, right eye middle, right eye outer, then bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, left and right nostril. Now we do the mouth, the side of the mouth, the left side, the top, the right side, and the bottom. On the side of the eye, it's the left cheek, and then the left cheek middle, or whatever, I don't know, forget what it's called. And then here and here on the other side, and then the chin. And I might reduce the amount of triangles I have, because that's kind of going to affect how the puppet pins work. I'll do 750. Okay, so now it's time to do the expression. So we open the mesh, open the deform tab, open all these pins, hold alt on your keyboard, and press the stopwatch next to the first pin and pull it down and go to the first left eye thingamajigger and see how that it like pulls it into place we're gonna do that for every single point with its corresponding other point and I'm gonna put a table in saying which points correspond to which points I'll put that in right now Okay, so we're back, and I'm going to just quickly show you how to do all these points. I'm just going to do it so that you can see it.
as you could probably tell, this was a very tedious step. So you could listen to music while you do that step. That took me a good like three minutes to do. If we play it through, melting face plays on top of my face. And it's not perfect, as you can see around the nose, but I mean, I could always go into the pre-comp and touch that up because it's not really necessary that there's a nose on this thing. So I'm going to turn this to soft light. That's not good. Overlay. And I'm going to make it full resolution so I can see the result. And yeah, obviously it's coming off my face. So next you're going to want to duplicate this bottom layer, bring it to the top, and go to masks, and switch the mask to subtract. Then open the mask and feather it out, 25, and then mask expansion, make it half of whatever you have for the feather. So I'll do 13 or negative 13. There we go. So let's take a look. Um, yeah, so this is the conclusion of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos and like this video if you liked it and share it if you are into that and goodbye.